Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So uh, today for our weekly tips and tricks video, we're gonna do uh, something short and sweet, something simple, but it can really help you out whenever you have a dip and uh, whenever you actually have sharp edges on your item. And so what we've got here is we've got some uh, bracket plates that um, they're like covers. And so um, if you'll notice, we've got these sharp edges that run all the way around. Now most of the time, you're pretty good. It's not gonna be a big issue um, if you've got like a rounded corner. Like if this was all rounded or something like that, no big deal. But we've actually got a recess just like this and it's a, a right angle. And so there's a couple of things that you wanna do to remember so that way whenever you're dipping, you don't get an actual blowout or you don't um, so you don't want to trap air and then you get a big void in it or anything like that so um, a couple of different things to remember uh, whenever you're going down you do not want to go down flat like that because of course you're going to trap air in these pockets areas and it's not gonna look good all right the other thing is that because you're going down flat you're also gonna trap air in this flat section that's right in here and then it's not gonna look good. So um, you always wanna keep it at an angle. And so a lot of people might go, okay, well, this looks good. Let me just go down like that. Really, you might wanna rethink that because you actually wanna turn it with an angle. And so the reason is, is so that if you're looking at this part right here, as we're going down into the water, just like that, what happens is, is if we're like this right here and we try to go down into the water, right up in here starts to possibly trap air because the film just wraps over very quickly because it's that hard edge right across through here. And so what we're actually gonna do in this case is we're actually gonna take this and we're gonna flip it about 45 degrees. And so by flipping this 45 degrees, the film isn't like rapidly coming over into this little groove and then wrapping over again. It has plenty of time for it to come into the water right here and then slowly come up this side and then continue on around the corner like that and then go all the way up to this point. And so then we really minimize the effect of anything getting trapped inside this whole piece. Now that also means that whenever you're dipping and you lay it down, you, you're gonna have to set your film the way that it needs to set in the water. And so again, you know, if you're wanting to dip it like that, you have to make sure that you lay your film that way. And so sometimes if you're using like a camouflage or something, it can be universal or whichever. Uh, but in this case, we actually have a brushed aluminum. So what we're gonna be using is gonna be the CF uh, 283. It's a 50 centimeter brushed aluminum pattern. Um, customers wanted kind of in a black and also a dark gray, just to kind of see what they look like. So um, we're gonna be doing some samples, but I figured it'd be a great way to shoot a video and kind of show you guys exactly how everything's gonna work and if you do have a part like this um, exactly why you need to go at a certain angle or straight or down or whichever way so let's go ahead we'll get the film laid out we'll get it in the water and um, let's get to dipping so set these out here so we'll lay out this film so one thing that you can tell about this film is, is that it's, it's pretty transparent um, if you look, it's, it's very, very condensed to where um, it, it has almost all silver, even from a black to a, uh, a light gray or a metallic gray, it's almost all silver. And so um, it does let some show through, but not a lot. So um, if you're looking for a, uh, a very condensed version uh, with a lot of striping, a lot of lines in it for your brushed aluminum patterns, uh, this is definitely one to check out. I'll put it in the link below. Uh, you can also check it out on our website, liquidconcepts.com. So um, again, we wanna lay out our uh, film. So in this case, it'll fit either way. So we're just gonna lay it out like that. Give ourselves a little bit of room here, a little bit of room here and then we're going to cut it just like that. Now again, this is probably more than what you need, but in this case, we wanna make sure that we have plenty of room to go either way. Um, so actually, it's a good thing I did cut that because the customer had wanted the pattern actually going this way. So thankfully, because I cut extra, I was actually able to save that dip. If I wouldn't have cut extra, I probably would have had to just toss it and then get another one. So, good thing on that. Um, so, let's go ahead, we'll set this down. We'll set that there. 
check the film again always the sticky side goes down in the water hold it a couple of seconds the side that sticks to your finger just like that goes down in the water so now that we know that this side goes down we'll make sure that everything looks good with it everything does and so we'll get it in the water so again nothing special about this just corner to corner you just want to make sure that you have um, you lay the film out to where it doesn't get any air trapped underneath it and so um, our tank right now we're sitting at about 80 degrees uh, anywhere between 80 to 90 is perfectly fine um, looks like we've got a really good um, divider system set up to where we can contain it really well uh, again this is starting to um, pretty much like hydrate in the water uh, nothing to worry about it's something that just the film will do and as you can see as it sits here it'll start to smooth back out so I'm gonna go ahead grab some gloves on we'll get the activator on it and then we'll get to dipping all right so one thing to remember we got our 60 seconds on the timer one thing to always remember because this is a directional pattern we want to make sure that we go in the right direction and so whether it goes dip like this or dip like that we got to make sure that it goes in the right direction so I'm gonna spray the activator we're gonna put it on here and then we're gonna grab our part and then dip it so again about six to eight inches above the water and of course liquid concept activator All right, so as you can tell, the film glassed out really nicely. We got a very good glass on the water. Everything looks good. Um, now, one thing is, is that I want to go this way with my brushed aluminum. And so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm actually going to hold this just like this, but I'm gonna angle it to where this piece right here is the last part that goes into the water. So I'm gonna slowly go inward just like that. And so what we're gonna do is, is we're going to start right here at this edge and then start going down with it and then just very slowly gently and easily go down into the water now again you can see how that very edge is the last part that goes down into the water and so what that does is is it makes it to where whenever we have a part like this you can see how we have one little bitty spot and really that pretty much will go away now once we once we popped it right there but we have all of our lines going this way and that film was wrapping around all the way around these areas like that and then it wrapped all the way around in here and so that's something to definitely keep in mind whenever you have a part like this with some really sharp edges you want to make sure that you go in that water at different angles just like I was saying before so that way you don't get any big spots that just void out or anything like that and it has plenty of room to wrap all the way around inside that that really hard edge like what this part has so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's short and sweet but it's definitely something to always remember it may not be every day but it's definitely something to remember whenever you have a job like this so if you haven't subscribed already definitely subscribe you can click the link below and also a th big thumbs up if you like the video and uh, you know we always enjoy making these videos we love it uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this definitely let us know we'd love to hear from you or if you have any questions or comments Give us a call, uh, shoot us a comment below, and we'll be more than happy to get a hold of you. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and we're making Hydrographics great again. We'll see you guys next time.